Base health 30. I don't think that moves the needle enough. Q damage plus 5. I need to read uh, how Draven Q works. Alright, so active Draven starts spinning his deck bonus physical damage. Okay, that's that's a pretty decent buff, honestly. That's that's a solid buff. Galio base moves speed 5, 11, 7. I think Galio could be played into Nico. Like that's that's like the only thing that I could see. Maybe, 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 maybe into Ari. Now, even Annie is hard. Increase effect of attacks before items and runes towards reload time by 35%. 35% reload time increase. That's interesting for Grace. It's like the main build we see from, from Grace players is still the... Um, trying to think, when, when do you buy attack speed? Besides having alacrity and runes. Because maybe this shit doesn't matter at all. And this doesn't, this doesn't really change when you can and cannot pick it. PAP ratio. QQ AP ratio. Perhaps if AP ratio up is decent, considering the, the cooldown is not shared on everybody. I still don't, don't think this changes when you can or cannot pick Quake. The King, 6 to 7%. percent The bonus, MS, 10% to 14. QAD ratio, 44 to 74. 35 to 65. A QAD ratio buff. QAD ratio is, is really, really high. Uh, considering Jin, um, Reaches so high, high, giga high Q, like AD numbers, you know? QD ratio, Kaiser, 5%. Okay. I remember reading like that the projected buffs for Kaiser are way bigger. So this is quite gentle, I would say. Leblanc Q base damage, W. These buffs are like solid, I think. I don't know if it's enough. I just, I wonder if this is, there's room to like max Q, you know? I wonder if I wonder if there's gonna be like Q max builds because like putting points in W, they've made it a little bit worse, you know. There is some matchups where uh, putting points in Q is beneficial to you, like you play Leblanc against Ari, like Leblanc against Millies. So at least there's that, you know. Those matchups have improved. Her matchup into mages, I don't think, has changed too much. But three second down on W and early level still matters, you know. All right, Olaf, Q most damage five twenty five five forty five. Like the only thing that really lets you do is like build tankier Olaf builds in jungle, but I don't I don't feel like Olaf jungle clear speed has ever been like the major issue. This doesn't excite me. Rise W cooldown down by two seconds. W slow thirty five to fifty. Wow, this is probably the biggest buff we've read so far. It's funny they buff LB and then they buff Rise like that. I'm just thinking about Rise top, you know. The Rise Top should be able to fucking do some damage, no? Like imagine people play TF Top, you know, you just fucking pick Rise Top into it. This is this is massive. I like, Rise has been silently getting buffed too. This is really nice. It's not the same as LB. LB in a lot of cases you want to max W for first because of the damage, you know? Uh, so you can AOE. And this is a really nice buff. Rise for sure will be played off of this man. Monster damage 70 to 100. I didn't feel like the first Q buff was enough to push this champ in the jungle. But I have to say, Silas jungle is really fucking fun. But I think that um, they shouldn't be fucking pushing for it. They really shouldn't be pushing for it. I think Silas is too powerful. His ult is too powerful uh, to be able to pick it whenever you want. Like There's a lot of risk attached to Silas being forced to lane. I, I don't like that this is happening. I'm a plus two, MR growth plus 0.25, okay. We, we already see some 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 trash gameplay. We, we even starting to see some trash gameplay. We saw Mako play it, Delai play it. I, these are nice changes. Two plus armor for early game, it's pretty cool. HP region down, W base damage, HP growth, HP region down, HP minus 30. Nothing else. I wonder if this is just, is this just a placebo nerf? Because the thing is, we're all sick of Azir, right? To some degree. But Azir is not winning. I'm so surprised Ari is not here. I'm so surprised Talia is not here. Vi, Vi is in tune with Talia and Ari, right? So Azir is broken. T just can't execute. But the thing is, players being able to execute or not is something that they need to balance around. You have to understand that, right? That sometimes Riot just removes um, interactions that only elite players can make. It's it's like. You can't look at Azir and say, well, Chovy is 1v9ing on it, so the champion is OP. Like, like Azir is for sure strong, right? Because it's a, the, the kit is inherently just poisonous. It's a very toxic kit. You're a long-range mage that can engage and also has a fucking escape. 
it's 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 very a very poisonous champ. The HP, I feel like the static shield nerf was was already big enough to put Zeddy in line, at least for Masai. I wonder if there was like a massive signal in solo queue that, that sent Zeddy through the roof. Q cooldown down, E damage minus 10. R can no longer be cleansed, still blocked by CC immunity. This is something that people talked about a lot. Like, it's it's a solid buff. It, it, it gives Mordecai a shit ton of agency in the game. The, the discourse that I read was about 80 carries, but I don't really give a fuck about 80 carries. There was like cases where you play like rel support, or you're playing like a support that is weak and you need to cue us out of Mordecai's ult because he would just fucking kill you for free. Uh, or like if you're playing a tank top, you could cue us the ult to get out. Or like you're playing Zinzao jungle. I think I think that agency is is, is massive that the enemy jungle can't cue us. I, I, I think that's... I think it's a big, it's, it's, it's a solid buff. When would you want to play Mordekaiser now? I don't know if you can play like Mordekaiser against Rek'Sai, Mordekaiser against Kessante, if Mordekaiser is playable in these matchups. I don't know enough about Mordekaiser. I think, I think there's a pretty big buff, but I think it's for different reasons than other people think. It's like, what counterplay do I have as an AD carry? Like, that's really not uh, my biggest concern. <laughs> Not concerned, but my the lens of the buff that I see, you know? Mana growth, mana region growth. Okay. Damage increase to many Baron attacks. Ooh. That's interesting. I, they, they usually do this through, like, armor and um, MR reduction. Spawn threshold, 5 stacks, 4 stacks, still get a second summon at 6 stacks. So it's 2 on 1. Honestly, now, like reading through all of this, I think the only real significant change here is um, is fucking rides. Yes, kind of disabled by Messiah. Only thing really that is 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 rise and Silas, at least two. 